Hi, welcome to Yacht Lot Video Boat Sales. We have for sale a steel motor sailor, catch rigged, lying in Faro in Portugal. The boat is 42 foot long. It's in need of quite a bit of work uh, due to it being neglected. Generally the boat needs painting from the waterline upwards. There's rust uh, streaks appearing all over the place and there's also a large dent on the side which you can see. In my opinion this uh, is able to be pulled out with heat but you'd have to remove a lot of the panelling inside. We are able uh, to source epoxy paints here in Portugal at very reasonable prices or you can import from the UK. The deck itself will uh, also need painting but I'll show you up top in a second. But below the waterline the boat is in very good condition apart from the dent. The rig on the boat, uh, all the stays were replaced in 2006. It's got, I believe, rotor stay roller reefing and it comes with Raymarine radar and autopilot. It's a 6000 series. The reason this boat is for sale is the owner and his other half a couple of years ago split up and the boat has been sat in the yard. He cleared the bill recently, so the boat is totally free of all boat charges at the time of purchase. And uh, to keep the boat here in Faro, it will cost you about 230 to 240 a month. And we have all the uh, top of the range facilities, Wi-Fi, laundry. You're able to live on the boat as well. You can find all the details on the boatyard website, which is navpegos.com. I'll also put a link in the listing for this. The boat was made in 1980 and it was made in Sweden um, by Victor Yachts uh, or built in Victor Yachts Yard. Uh, I haven't got any more details on this. Uh, the owner is Austrian as I said. But as you can see the steelwork really is in pretty fair condition for its age. It really only needs needle gunning or shot blasting or, or sanding, grinding back, removing all the rust. And 90% of it is superficial. In other words, it's only surface rust. Now we'll go up top and have a look at what needs doing on deck. First thing you'll notice is the spray hood. Um, over the last couple of years the plastic has blown out of the spray hood. The canopy itself is in reasonable condition. It just needs a new piece of plastic stitching in. All the woodwork really on the top side needs stripping back and re-varnishing after the paint work's done. And as I said the deck will need completely uh, grinding back and repainting. We've got the rotor stay roller reefing. Chain locker here. Comes with a dinghy and a 10 horsepower engine. And underneath this is a very nice uh, hatch system which opens up into the salon below. I'll show you this in a second. The sails for the boat really all need replacing. The Genoa or jib and the mizzen are usable. The main has got a rip in it um, on the leech. Got jammers down at the cockpit. And a reasonable bathing platform on the back there. Now we'll take a look down below. The owner has been very realistic on the price. Um, he basically wants to sell it and sell it quickly. Uh, hence the price that it's up and it's not open to offers. He's actually put it at rock bottom price just to get rid of it. Uh, he doesn't want to pay the yard bill anymore. And as you can see all the woodwork inside is in very good condition. Chart table here. 
going from the front, we've got a table to the left which will seat about six to eight, and a table to the right which will seat another three or four. And then we've got a freezer uh, in the galley, and the uh, two burner cooker with oven and grill, and a double sink. The cooker's gas, by the way. The layout of the boat is quite well done. Uh, you've got a double cabin forward with shower room, very large shower room, which you'll see later. Chart table off here. To the left, either side of the chart table, there is a seating arrangement that pulls up and turns into a single bunk. And there's also a single bunk just ahead here. Sorry about the lighting. I'll show you properly in a minute. The electronics with the boat are Raymarine Autopilot on hydraulic steering. It's a 6000 series, so you know what they cost with hydraulic motor and um, Raymarine radar. This is the seating area, that bunk at the back there, or the uh, backing of the seat pulls up into a single bunk. And then forward here, we have a double cabin storage underneath. Very large double cabin. And just coming back from this is a door to the right which goes into a very large shower room. You can see the seating here on the right. We'll sit three or four quite comfortably and the seating off to the left will sit six to eight. both with drop-down tables. Freezer capacity is about three to four cubic foot. Double sink. The water capacity on the boat is 800 litres and the fuel capacity is about 360 litres. This is the hatch system I was telling you about earlier. Very nicely constructed, all in stainless steel. I'll show you that in a bit in some photos. Double cabin again. The hatch above it. And as I said, there's storage up forward and underneath. There's no sign of any hatch leaks in this forward cabin. As you can see there, hardwood floor throughout the boat. With lifting plates to get into the bilge. This is a very large shower room for a boat. Um, I would say this has got to be five foot by five foot. This is the single bunk just after the chart table, which goes back and you can see the Raymarine autopilot at the end of it there. And the engine bay to the right with the lid off. But I'll show you the engine in a minute. This is the main washroom and head. I do apologize about the lighting, but I'll put some photos on at the end of this video. Very sizable head. Now from the cockpit area, there's two cabins aft. One is storage and the other is a twin bunk room. Very sizable bunks. And there's another door off to the right here. And that goes into the workshop or storage room. There you can see the uh, 10 horse 
outboard to go with the rib. All the tools, everything that you see with this boat comes with it. Now the engine. Firstly I'd like to point out the engine battery is brand new as of April 2012 but the house batteries uh, all need replacing. Alrighty. You okay? The owner came down in April to fit new belts and a new pump to the engine. The engine's in perfect working condition. Now I'll take you through some photographs of the boat. Uh, firstly I'd like to point out the boat comes with a life raft and you can get all the full list of details on the website yachtgrot.com. Remember you can get flights to Portugal from the UK for uh, usually around £100 and we can arrange accommodation for you while you're here to visit the boat. Thank you very much for watching this video and remember to visit the web website for full details and you can contact us on the contact page remembering to quote the name of the boat please. Thank you very much for watching.